Good morning. All right, so we got all the stuff together. It is about, I would say 6.30, um, maybe closer to seven. But anyways, um, it's a pretty nice temperature out. We're gonna go ready to go back to Plymouth. Um, bringing the snowmobile today, so I'm gonna go try a spot. I've been looking at the depths of the lake and or the pond, and um, I'm gonna go try a couple spots. Um, well, one spot today, and then probably another one before the derby. But um, yeah, we got all of our stuff together. Unthawing the truck, and then we're gonna get this underway. Um, I still gotta hook up the snowmobile and make sure I got all the little things I need, but. It's gonna be a fun day. So we're gonna get our stuff all wrapped up and then we're gonna head down towards Plymouth. So okay. All right, we're on our way. Um, slow going because I got a trailer with the snowmobile and all my gear and this, the roads are kind of shitty. They're not bad. I mean, if you know how to drive on them, but I'm still ain't gonna go too fast. I ain't got far to go, so. Just gonna stop down to the Plymouth store and get some bait. We'll try to get that on camera. And then we're gonna get everything set up and get everything packed up, hooked to the sleds, and head out to the pond. So we'll see you then. Come and get your bait from the store. That's right. I got some here the other day, they were pretty good. Where are you headed out to this morning? Uh, right up on the other side of the pond here. I've, I've been fishing it, trying to find some good spots. So I, for this weekend? Yeah, for the derby. I went to the Heartland one, but no luck. I mean, I, we caught a lot of fish, but nothing for the derby. There's a couple of small ones in there. I gave you those for free. So. Oh, decent. All right, we're going to pay for this and get on the lake. All right, we're all loaded up. I didn't want to bring my other jet sled because I was being lazy. So we're loaded up. I guess I got everything. And let's go. This is completely interesting. So the spot I'm looking for is down in here somewhere, but I'm gonna take a second and let the sun come out a little bit. Cause it's starting to clear up so I can see where I'm going. All the other ice shacks are over there. And when I was at the uh, Plymouth store, um, I was told that people ain't having much luck um, and everybody's thinking about moving their ice shacks. So I don't know. Um, I was looking and I found some deeper water over here. There's only a couple spots that are deep. I mean, it's not even deep. It's like five to eight feet and it's only a couple spots. But anyways, so I'm gonna try to get down there a little further. Um, yeah, everything's covered with snow. But like I said, I'm just gonna take a few minutes, sit here and chill, and then we'll move down when I can see a little better. All right, guys. So, we're out here. This is my setup. The Dewalt's working pretty good. Uh, started to get warm over there, so I didn't want to overheat my drill, so I'm letting it cool off while I set everything else up. I'm gonna have one trap over here. 
Uh, there's another one here, another one there, there's gonna be one there, one over here. And this is my setup inside. And all the other ice shacks are way over there. And supposedly right in here, there's five to eight feet of water. So we're gonna give her a try here today and see what happens. Um, yeah, it's pretty beautiful out here. I mean, there's like a mist. And it's starting to clear off. We can start to see the mountains and stuff. So wish me luck. I'm gonna get set up, get my traps in. Let's catch some fish. Thanks for watching. See you guys in a second. All right, so we're playing with this camera. Under the water. It's going to take some getting used to. All right, I'm gonna play around with this, but I just wanted to show you guys that I was using the camera. So let me play around and figure it out and we'll get some footage for you. A lot of vegetation on the bottom. There ain't much water here. Alright, well, I'll keep trying. It's pretty cloudy. We'll have to try it. Maybe it'll work better at a different weight. Cool. Looks like somebody else decided to come out here with me. You know something I don't know. Cool. The four-wheeler. I think I'm on to something. Everybody else is over there. There's nobody out this way. Hmm, we'll see. Cool. So we got all the traps all around. I can see them out of every window. Uh, I got a four-wheeler went by and went way down there and then Joyce just showed up. Uh, I didn't know, she didn't know she was gonna fish or not, but I guess she is. What? To each their own, I guess. I'm going back in my shack. We'll see you when we get a fish. Well, it's turned into a beautiful day. Um, so we tried that camera out and I'm still new at it and the water is only like right underneath the shack. It's probably two and a half, three feet. So by the time I put the camera down, it's at the bottom and you can't really see much. So we'll be doing some more ice fishing and stuff. So when I get a deeper spot, we'll try out that camera more. Um, Maybe I'll try it out a little bit more today. Uh, one of the holes out there. It's warm, pretty warm today, so I might do that. Depends. I'll get bored. Um, so yeah, basically, this is the setup. I actually got the base for my buddy here. Can you believe it? I actually bought brought um, utensils 
We actually got everything this time. Hmm. Now we're just sitting and waiting for flags. It's been all the time it is. 9.54. Nothing. But um yeah, I'll show you guys the uh Let's look at the weather. 30 degrees right now. But they're saying about noontime it's going to be 35. 1 p.m. 37. 2 p.m. 38. 38 degrees about 2. So. Cool. We'll see what happens. Appreciate everybody watching. I'm having fun, and I hope you have fun watching the videos. Feel free to leave comments. I love comments. So, cool. All right, so this is the, uh, I can't really see it. Let's see if I can make it bigger. All right, so this is the town of Plymouth Pond. I mean, town of Plymouth, it's Plymouth Pond and town of Plymouth. Um, that I mean. Smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, white perch, yellow perch, and chain pickerel. And then minnows, golden shiners, horn pout or bullheads, pumpkin seed sunfish, and American eels. And then the physical characteristics of the lake. I'm just going to shorten that so I can actually read it. it. Says maximum depth is 10 feet, so it's not a very deep place. Um, principal fishery, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, chain pickerel, and white perch. Um, there's a public boat, ra boat ramp. Plymouth Pond is characterized by its shallows, its profuse growth of aquatic vegetation, and its high water temperatures. Historically, chain pickerel, white perch, and hornpout were the principal fisheries. The main Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife stocked largemouth bass in an attempt to enhance the fishery. 55 to 10 inch wild largemouth bass were captured from the pond located at Colby College and transferred to Plymouth Pond in June of 1972. This original stocking has successfully created an excellent largemouth bass fishery. The boat ramps off in Route 7. Last time it was surveyed, according to this, was... Oh, they surveyed it in 1960 and they revised it in 1997. So cool, there's a little bit of information about the pond and I'll show you the depth chart. Alright, so that's the small side. Uh, 10 foot of water right there. And then we got 9 foot of water here and there's the bridge that goes through Plymouth. Right there and the landing's like right in here somewhere. And then... It's pretty shallow, eight feet there, ten foot right in the middle, and then you got this band. And I think I'm pretty sure I am like right here in this area, which the depths have been pretty much in that area. I haven't found eight feet, but right where my shack is, about three feet, and it gets deeper as you go across. And then the joist there that. One of my subscribers, um, she showed up, then she went over about in here somewhere. And then another guy, he's down here where I was originally going to go, but I figured I'd stop here and then I'd try that next time or some sorts because I saw eight here and there was nobody here. So cool. Hope you guys are enjoying that. That's a little information. Um, we'll see if we catch any fish. Let's take a look since I was talking that whole time and not looking. Uh nothing so we'll see you guys in a little bit all right so there's the bottom it's a pretty good view now it's nice and clean wow that thing is amazing
cool. Well, we're gonna keep watching. If I see a fish pop up, I will uh, turn the camera back on and hopefully get it for you guys. Cool. Still waiting for flags. Maybe I won't get anything here. Maybe I will. Who knows? But we're gonna keep trying and I'm gonna move around and I'm gonna be here for a while, so. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you, Joyce. All right, guys, well, it's not moving. So I'll set you over here. Nada. Hit and run. And my bait is toasted. Alright, we're gonna make some lunch. Um, what I got here is some beef tips that my mom canned. And I'm gonna cook up some of them. First I'm gonna cook some eggs. And I'm gonna put it on a hot dog bun. Like a sandwich. And I'm gonna eat that sucker down. It's gonna be great. So anyways, I gotta cook the eggs. And then I'm going to put them in that pan. And then I'm going to heat up some of these beef tips. And then I'll build a sandwich. So, let me get going. And I'll be cool. Alright, we got the eggs in the pan. And these ain't from the store. These are from my mother's chickens. And they are fresh. I mean, this is the past few days of eggs. Turn that up a little bit. And these beef tips, they smell so good. They really do. And they don't look so well, but you wait until I take them out. They're, they've been canned, so they're obviously going to break up a little bit. And then I also brought some Jolly Ranchers. These are supposed to be freeze-dried, but they were fails. They didn't freeze-dry all the way like they're supposed to. So I like these ones better. But yeah, I got to scramble up these eggs. And then we're going to cook that. So once those are done, we will throw those into there and heat that up. It's going to be delicious. It's been pretty nice out today. Um, I had that flag earlier. There's not much water, so I'm not expecting to get too many hits in this area. So I'm going to keep moving out this way. And maybe some that way but they that one go that way more but there's more water over in these two and this one and that one's got a little bit less water than all them ones and then this one is in shallow but we got all day and we're just sitting back and relaxing and enjoying being here and seeing where the fish are we'll figure it out the people that were down there they packed up and left already and joy's headed out of here she just went and hit a bunch of holes and stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna go cook my lunch. We'll see ya. So we use the same pan that the eggs were in, but we're just gonna heat these steak tips up. There's the nice eggs all cooked. So once those are heated up, we'll build a sandwich. Mmm, can't wait. I am so hungry, <laughs> I am starving, so. It's been fun, man. We're having a great, I'm having a great time. Why did I say we're having? I don't know. Still no flags. We're gonna keep moving around until we get, a, get some flags. I had one flag and it's stupid. All right. We got a flag. It's not moving. Will this be another hit and run? Off to the side. Oh, I lost it. Nothing. Oh, yep, got him. Got him. Uh, I got him. 
Ooh, yeah, baby. Don't you do that to my damn line. And then, of course, you would swallow the damn thing. I didn't bring the tool. Stop. Dude. He's just suffering bald headed. Just. <sighs> All wrapped up in my line. Cause he's a dink fish. Yeehaw! I'm not gonna even be able to eat one. This one's taking. Look at that line go. Look at that line go. Holy crap. Yank it right out of its mouth. You gotta be kidding. It destroyed my bait. I should have let it run. I got too eager. God, why do I do that? Well, bummer. That thing was running. Running, running, running. All right, so the model of the story here is don't get overexcited and pull it up too soon. I've done that so many times last year, this year. Uh, I just did it right now like that line was running and I and then it was just going 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 so I figured That it was hooked, but what I think it really was oh, excuse me really was happening Was the fish was running full speed with it and he was gonna drop it and then he was gonna pick it back up after he dropped it He was trying to kill it basically and I just pulled it right out of his mouth. I should have waited So I'm gonna wait longer on the next ones if it's running like that. I'm gonna let it take it and then when it takes it again, then I'll take, try to pull it, so. That was a pretty big bait too, so. I don't know. But, let's get this done so I, we can go finish lunch, hopefully. Well, all right, now back to this lunch. Okay, so the steak tips are warmed up. The eggs are ready. Um, got some hot dog buns. Some Wonder Bread. All right. All right, so the steak tips are done and the eggs done. And what we have here is a steak and egg sandwich. And just because I had some, I'm going to try it. I'm going to put sweet baby rays on it. Now we'll see how that tastes. I have no idea how that's going to taste, but we're going to try it out. Mmm. I guess anything tastes good with sweet baby rays. It's delicious. Yep, so I'm gonna eat. And we'll wait for flags. Don't be a dummy like I was on the last one. Alright guys. Going again. 
I'm gonna get this one hopefully. Come on. Got it. I got it. Oh, this feels big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at that fish. Oh, my God. Look at it next to the snowmobile. That's huge. Wow. Just wow. That is nice. All right, we're gonna let it go. Cool. We did it, guys. We finally caught something nice. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm so happy. Thank you everybody that watches and enjoys this fish because I've been trying hard. And he's still got the fish in his mouth and now we're gonna let him go. So there he goes. Okay. Goodbye, fish. I put him in the wrong way by accident. It's too excited. Well, we got it. That was an awesome fish. I can't believe it. That was amazing. Let's get that back in the water. This is why I do it. I, I'm so excited right now. That was huge. I wish it was Derby Day. Probably won't catch that Derby Day, but that was a nice fish. That was a beautiful fish. So excited. All right, guys. So, what have we learned today? I know what I learned today. To not overdo it, not be too excited, and take it the line in too fast. Let it sit, let them take it, let them eat it, and then you'll get the fish. I mean, I've been waiting for so long, you know, during open water fishing, I catch all kinds of good fish. But ice fishing is a lot harder, and I don't use a lot of equipment, so, yeah, I mean, it was great, I'm happy. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Couldn't ask for a better day, the weather, everything's just been great. So we'll see you at the next one. Got another flag. Just gonna wait a minute. I'm not ever gonna pull it out again. I'm gonna just wait. There it goes. She's running. She's running. She might take it. Let it eat it. Man, it's been an awesome day. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Oh, she's running. It's got to be a bass. Hey, I'm going for it. As soon as it stops. She's still going. Okay, we're going to go for it. Here we go. I got it. Oh my. It's another big one. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Me wound up on a stick. I have to get my coat off. I gotta reach in the hole. I'm gonna get you guys down here lower so you can see what's going on. There's a stick. There's a fish on there, but there's a stick too. Man, there's a lot of water.
fish is right there. I'm still hung up on something. I got the fish, but it's still hung up on something. Man, there's a lot of water, a lot of ice. Oh, I lost him. Damn. Oh well. It was a pickerel. I saw it. It wasn't that big, but felt like it. But I was wrapped around sticks and everything else. So we got a lot of vegetation here, which is good. Whew. My line's all straggled out again. My arm's soaked. But I, there's some vegetation here, so that's good. Well, let's get this back in the water. All right, guys. We'll see you at the next one. This has been a great day. All right, so there's the infamous stick. So there's some vegetation down underneath there, so that's good because that gives them some place to be. So got it back in. I'm gonna leave my coat off because it's not even cold. But I just want to show you that. And now we wait. It's been a fun day. That is how much ice there is. It's gonna be almost as long as my arm. Probably. Foot and a half or more. Mm -hmm. Well, we've had three traps over here in the shallows. All of those have been moved out further. I got two over here. And then I got three more over here. Man, it's been such a great day. Um, I was sitting in the ice shack and I was thinking, I was like, man, look at how far I've come since I started my YouTube, since I started um, ice fishing and doing all that. I mean, I'm not new to it, but I just, I mean, since I started doing it, making videos and actually getting into it, not just going out to drink beer, <laughs> but come a long way. So... Anyways, let's see if we can get some flags. It's about, I think it was like two something. So we're going to stay a while longer. I'm not leaving. I don't want them having this good a day. But we'll check in in a minute. See you at the next one. Oh, well, all right, guys. So it's been a few hours. Um, sun's starting to go down. And... It's died right off, haven't even got a flag or anything. Hoping that while I'm talking to you, I'll get one. <laughs> well, while I'm picking up. But it's going to be the end of the video. A little bit more exploratory uh, procedures. Um, finally landed on some fish. Um, yeah, we're going to go from there. Probably going to hit another spot another day, and then there'll be the derby. So, oh, there's fish scale on the camera. But yeah it's been a great day i hope you guys enjoyed the video keep on naturing and we'll see you next time